Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions using all brand new makeup that I've never used before. I'm really excited to film this video because I've had some of this stuff kind of like sat on my dressing table waiting for me to use it to film this video. So I'm really excited to play around with some new makeup. And honestly, I've got some what I think are going to be like amazing products to show you and to try out in this video. So I'm so excited. I just wanted to quickly mention that unfortunately for the bronzer, highlighter and blusher part of this video, I was actually waiting for my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm highlighter palette to arrive but unfortunately there's been some sort of like issue with me receiving that. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use that in this video which is what I really wanted to do. So for this video I don't have any new blusher, bronzer or highlighter to use because I wanted to use that palette which has all three of those products in it and it hasn't actually arrived to me yet. So that is really annoying i'm sorry about that but literally everything else i'm using is brand brand new also don't mind the fact that my body is tanned and my face isn't i put fake tan on my body um and not on my face because i've been breaking out so much recently and one of my friends was saying to me that maybe you should stop putting fake tan on your face because it might be the reason why you're breaking out so much so um i'm gonna correct that with foundation later on in the video obviously so don't mind the fact that my body is like so much darker than my face at the moment anyways let's just get straight on into the video so i'm gonna do eyes first in this video because I've got this brand new revolution this is a collaboration with Cami um who I don't actually know who Cami is I'm not gonna lie but I saw this palette featured in Soph Does Nails she did a full face of first impressions uh, makeup recently on her channel and she actually used this palette and to be honest with you I'm never usually that excited about the revolution palettes I just feel like I don't know I don't really get that inspired by them and they don't really like interest me that much like the new releases that they've had recently but this palette looks literally insane in Soph Does Nails video it literally looked insane so so I got it to use in this video this is what it looks like um it's got some really beautiful shades in it some quite shimmery ones and there are some mattes as well the color that Soph used in her video which was basically the reason why I wanted to try out this palette was this shade here in the corner which is You Got This and it's kind of like a duochrome purple and blue oh my god it's literally insane it's like a duochrome purple and blue switching eyeshadow look how beautiful that is wow so that is basically the shade that I bought this whole palette for if I'm going to be completely honest so that is definitely a shade that I want to use in today's video obviously it's quite a dark shade so I'm going to have to do quite a dark look which is why I'm going to do my eyes first so I do actually have a new eye primer to try out as well this one is by Too Faced and this is the mm -hmm. oh that scared me so much it's my phone this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Eye Primer. This is what it looks like. This particular one is actually a little sample one that I got when I bought the other Too Faced stuff that I'm going to be using in this video. So I'm just going to use that today as my eye primer. I think I've used too much already. I don't really tend to use eye primers that often unless I'm doing quite a heavy eye look and I'm going to be wearing it for a long time. I usually find that, I don't know, sometimes I find them a bit pointless but... Anyways, we're going to be using this one today. It feels quite like tacky almost, which is, I guess, good because obviously you want your eyeshadow to stick to your eye. I'm going to put a little bit underneath my eye as well, which would hopefully help for the concealer creasing. Every single time I sit down to film a video, I never have cleaned my brushes, my eye brushes, before I do it. And it pisses me off every single time because now I have to sit here cleaning my eye brushes before I start and I just why didn't I do it before just I annoy myself so much right BRB just gonna go clean my brushes <laughs> right so basically what I'm gonna do with the palette is I'm gonna take this shade here which is the shade addicted and I'm basically just gonna run that all the way through the crease of my eye so this is going to be my kind of transition shade that's the shade that's going to like make all of the other eyeshadows blend really really nicely so I'm going to take a big fluffy brush the brush that I'm using is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush this is perfect for transition shades so I'm just going to buff that all the way into the crease once that's all blended I'm going to go in with the shade You Do You which is kind of like this dark kind of purpley shade I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques based shadow brush and I'm going to focus that 
that more sort of like in the crease and I'm going to pat a little bit of that on the outer and inner corner of my eye as well because I think I'm going to do kind of like a halo eye with this look and then I'm basically just going to take the shade you got this and then press that right in the center of my lid as kind of like a halo eye. What the fuck? This shade. This shade is... What? That shade, you got this, which is like the centre shade that I've just put on, is literally the most insane eyeshadow I think I've ever used in my life. I've never in my life. Look at that. Honestly, if you don't even use any other shade in this palette and you just use this shade, it's worth it for the £10. £10 this whole palette was and that shade I would pay £10 just for that one shade I'm not even gonna lie right so I just really quickly did the other eye off camera and oh my god guys I am obsessed with this palette what the freak literally what the hell is this shade this whole palette was £10 10 freaking pounds I honestly I'm blown away by this palette. I'm obsessed. I have noticed a tiny, tiny bit of creasing on this eye, like just in that purple shade, which I mean, I'm just gonna pat over it with a bit more eyeshadow and hopefully it'll be fine. They blended so beautifully. The matte shades were so easy to blend. The I've only used literally three shades as well to create this whole eye look. And honestly, I think it's turned out so nice. So anyways, I'm very impressed with that Revolution palette. You should definitely get it. It's probably limited edition because it's a collaboration with a person. So you should definitely get your hands on that palette before it sells out. Because honestly, insane. Insane. Anyways, moving on to skin. I'm just going to really quickly... Oh, I've already put moisturiser on though. I'm just going to take a dry cotton pad and just clean up very briefly underneath my eyes because I've got a tiny bit of fallout but nothing too crazy so just cleaning up a little bit under there. Obviously I'm going to finish off the under eye section later on in the video after we've got the rest of the face makeup on. Just wipe my hands on my top because I can't bother to go and wash them. So I do actually have a new primer to use and I don't know if I've mentioned in a video before but I'm not really a primer person. I don't usually use primer if I'm being honest but I've heard so much about this primer which is the Too Faced Hangover X primer. This says it's a replenishing fre fresh, can't speak today, this is a repl replenishing face primer with coconut water, um, prior literally I can't speak or read, probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers and it's silicone free. So basically this comes with a little pump. I've heard that it's very, very hydrating and moisturizing and it's basically just like, yeah, a primer that's good for like more sort of dry skin, which is, I wouldn't say my skin is dry, but it's definitely on the drier side. I don't really get oiliness. My skin is probably, I'd say like normal to dehydrated dry. So I'm going to be putting this all over this smells like coconut kind of but like not as fresh and nice coconut as i would want it to smell like but it feels quite nice on my skin actually i have already moisturized about 20 minutes before filming this video with my amber release moisturizer so i have moisturized my skin today already but obviously this is a primer so you would probably want to moisturize your skin first anyway it feels kind of tacky a little bit tacky but nothing too like crazy so yeah so far I like it I mean obviously I'm gonna have to see if it does anything in terms of like lengthening the wear of my makeup which is what a primer's job is to do so I'm gonna have to kind of like let you know on that one but um so far it feels really nice on my skin so for foundation I have to try the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation which I have a little sample of I've never tried this foundation before so I wanted to try a sample size before I bought the full one everyone talks about this foundation and says it's literally amazing but it is a very sheer coverage foundation I have heard which usually sheer foundations are not my thing I like something a bit more medium to full coverage so we're gonna see today if I actually like this um she gave me the shade 3.5 which actually looks like it's gonna be quite good for like my fake tan shade so I'm just gonna apply this on the skin obviously I don't know how much I'm gonna need because it's in this little sample thing so <gasps> No, dripped. Wow, this is a very liquidy foundation. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna apply 
like this cheek first to see how I how much I need on the other side. And I do actually have a new sponge. Um, today I'm using the Real Techniques. This is the Miracle Face and Body Sponge. And this thing is literally huge. I've already dampened it. Um, and it still feels really like wet even though I put like a kitchen roll around it. Which is slightly worrying. <gasps> Yeah, this sponge is literally huge. It's going to like blend my foundation within like seconds. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use this today to blend this in. My problem with sheer coverage foundations, because I actually do have quite good skin, like my skin doesn't really need a lot of coverage, but my problem with sheer foundations is I find that they just don't last on my face. Like if I use like a really sheer light foundation, I just find that like halfway through the day it looks like I haven't even got foundation on anymore and I think that's my problem that I've never really found a good long lasting sheer coverage foundation. I just feel like the more high coverage you go with a foundation the longer it's going to last on the face which is basically what I want like I want my makeup to last all day like I don't want to have to retouch it or you know do anything like that I never retouch my makeup throughout the day so for me if a foundation is really sheer I'm always going to find that I need to retouch my makeup but maybe if this foundation is really long lasting this might be my new favourite sheer coverage foundation you never know it's actually matching my fake tan shade pretty spot on to be honest and this sponge so loud <laughs> why is it so loud it's actually blending my foundation really nicely and quickly. The main reason why I bought this sponge was because I had the Real Techniques one before, but I definitely prefer the Beauty Blender. But a lot of people were saying that they, re they sort of redid the sponge and they changed it so that it was a little bit more squidgy and softer. So that's why I picked up this one because I thought this one was like nice and big and it would just like get my foundation blended super quickly. But I don't know if it's a little bit too big for me. <laughs> what she said okay so i actually really like the way that that foundation looks on my skin i think it looks really fresh quite oh my phone shut up it looks really fresh quite glowy i wouldn't say it's like glowy glowy but it's definitely kind of like satiny it's not really matte at all it is definitely light i would say light to medium coverage i need to put on a tiny bit more here i think just to give my little red cheeks some more coverage but i actually really like the finish if this lasts on my skin throughout the day, then we might be onto a winner here. I might have a new favourite foundation. And it's also covered, like, my little blemishes quite well. I mean, you can still see a little bit of redness poking through, but I don't hate that. I'm going to move on now to concealer, and I have already tried this once. I'm sorry, but I actually could not wait to try this concealer. So I have used this once before, but this is still basically a first impression because I only used it once. So, yeah. This is the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. Um, I put this in my recent haul video that I did which was my last video I did a makeup haul and I picked this up in the shade Almond like I said I have tried this concealer once before it is very full coverage and also I think I picked it up in a slightly too dark shade I would probably if I could sort of rebuy it I would probably rebuy the slightly paler shade because I like quite a bright under eye and I don't really use concealer anywhere else other than my under eye but this concealer shade actually works quite well with this foundation because it's not too too bright so I'm just basically putting whatever's left on the sponge kind of on my forehead a little bit just to kind of like brighten up the forehead a tiny bit and I can already tell that like I mean I wore this one um this concealer yesterday for the day and I can already tell this is going to be basically like my new favorite concealer honestly it's so so nice it's so full coverage but it's so lightweight so I like the fact that this kind of dries down to almost like a semi-matte slash satiny finish because it just means that by the time you powder it you're not going to look all dry and cakey so the powder that i'm going to be setting it with i've never ever tried before and this is the Too Faced born this way powder so it's the powder that kind of goes with the concealer and this is the setting powder in the shade translucent so it's just a translucent setting powder i've heard so many good things about this i've heard that it's like so lightweight and just so so good for under the eyes so i'm gonna use this today it comes with like a little kind of have to like pop it off i'm gonna pour some into the lid and i think i'm just gonna use my sponge just to bake the lady said this powder is really good for baking because it's really lightweight just gonna use whatever's left on the sponge to kind of powder around my smile lines and mouth area because that's where i always get creasing throughout the day which is so annoying i'm just gonna take a little bit on my forehead as well i'm gonna sweep away the powder now i know that's not really baking it's only left it on there for a few seconds but that tends to work for me quite well just leaving it on there for a few seconds and then sweeping it away okay yeah so the powder is nice it's definitely lightweight 
and it hasn't made my under eye look really crepey and dry but I can definitely see that it has darkened the concealer which is slightly worrying considering I already got quite a dark shade so yeah it's not really that brightening under the eyes I would say it kind of if anything almost has darkened my concealer um, which is not ideal because I kind of like that bright under eye look but anyways but yeah other than that the powder is a really nice lightweight formula I can already see that it's not cakey or dry or anything like that which is really good I'm just going to use whatever's left on the brush to powder my face I'm literally so annoyed that my glowgasm palette hasn't arrived because at this point in the video I would be doing my bronzer blusher and highlighter with that palette but I haven't got anything new to show you because the palette hasn't arrived so I can't even use it which is so shit I also don't have a new brow product either so I'm just going to do my usual brow and bronzing routine really quickly off camera and then I'm going to come back in a second and we're going to finish up the under eyes as well right i'm back i've just bronzed and kind of contoured my skin i use the hourglass bronzer and i use the kevin oquan sculpting powder for contour really sorry that i don't have anything new to show you for that section of the video but as i said my glowgasm charlotte tilbury palette didn't arrive anyways i thought for highlighter just for the sake of this video i would use the james charles palette the highlight shade that he always uses in here because even though this isn't a new palette for me i've had this for a little while i've never actually used this shade as a highlight so I thought just for the sake of the video as we're doing a first impressions I would try this shade as a highlighter just to see what it's like so I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks okay that's actually really pretty my lights need turning down a bit oh that's low as it goes okay that's actually really nice it's definitely up to my glowy standards I do like quite a beam in highlight I actually really like the way that highlighter well it's technically an eyeshadow but I actually really like the way that's applied. It looks really glowy. It's kind of like a yellowy golden undertone, which I've really been liking at the moment with my highlight, as opposed to like a white champagne, especially when I've got a bit of a tan on. I think the gold looks really, really beautiful. Oh, I just realised I forgot to do my brows. I said I was going to do them off camera, but I forgot. Never mind. Um, I'll do those in a second. I'm going to do now my under eye, just to sort of like connect the shadows together and do my under lower lash line. So what I'm going to do is basically go in with the first shade that we used. And I'm taking this on a blank canvas E10 small fluffy brush. And then I'm just basically running that all the way along my eye on the lower lash line. And I am going to bring this quite low and quite smoky because... I find that when it's like quite dramatic on the top, it's quite nice to have a really smoky lower lash line as well. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of like trying to connect it a little bit to the top of the eye because I think that looks so much nicer than when it doesn't connect. Then I'm taking this small pointed, this is a Morphe M431 pencil brush. I'm just taking the purple shade that we use, so the dark purple. And I'm basically just going to put this on the outer and the inner corner of my lower lash line. So basically exactly what we did on the top, on the bottom. And just to sort of like help blend that a little bit, I'm just taking the first brush, the E10, and I'm just blending that out, just so it's not too harsh still want to make sure the lower lash line is really super blended and then what i'm going to do is just go in with you got this which is the start of the show and i'm going to take that on my finger very carefully and put that just in the center of my eye and then i'm just going to go back in with that pencil brush and just make sure it's nice and blended in and that is it for like the lower lash line i'm obsessed with this palette it's freaking insane so worth the money, £10, literally come on £10, so so good. And back I just had a little Pringle break because I was starving. How nice are these paprika Pringles by the way, have you tried them? They're so good. So anyway, I just did my brows off camera and I just did the other eye. I was looking in this palette for an inner corner highlight and realised that there actually isn't any colour in here that's kind of suitable for an inner corner kind of highlight so I'm just going to use my normal highlighter that I use which is the Estee Lauder bronzed goddess highlighter and I'm just going to literally put a tiny bit of that in my inner corner I literally can't do an eye makeup look without doing this I don't know what it is I just feel like it brightens everything up and just makes the look look so much nicer so I do actually have a new mascara to show you um I've not tried this before this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I've got this in a little sample mini size so I don't actually know if I'm going to put lashes on today I kind of feel like I want to just see what the mascara can do 
on its own so I might just try and build my lashes up as much as I can with this and then if it doesn't do what I want it to do I might just go in with lashes but I'm not sure yet but yeah let me just apply this I don't know whether to go in and do like some eyeliner in my inner water lines but I think I'm gonna leave it okay that's just kind of like one coat and i'm impressed with that literally everyone says that this mascara is like the best mascara ever i mean wow let me zoom you in even more so you can see really freaking impressed with that mascara it's really done a good job of like separating and lengthening my lashes but still somehow giving them so much volume as well which is very rare to find with a mascara. Usually you get kind of like one or the other or like two out of three, but this one is like, wow. This one is giving me all three, doing the most. So let's try bottom lashes. See what it does to those bad boys. Okay, honestly, that mascara is incredible and I'm in love. I feel like if this lasts long on my eyelashes, doesn't crumble off throughout the day or transfer, I am going to be obsessed with this and this is going to be my new favourite mascara. Right, so we're almost done now. Literally, I've just got lips to do. So for lips, I don't have a new lipstick, but I have a new gloss. And this gloss is the Pat McGrath gloss in the shade Future Femini. Femi? Femi? Future Femi. And it is like, I don't know if the camera's even going to pick it up, but it is like super, super sparkly. And it's in this really nice kind of baby pink colour. I think I'm just going to put this on my lips just on its own because we've got a lot going on on the eyes. Sometimes just a gloss on the lips is quite nice. So I'm just going to try this out. I briefly tried this in the store and I did try it in my other video um, that I've just posted as well, my haul video, just really quickly. Other than that, oh my god, this gloss is insane. It's so sparkly. It's actually got kind of like a bluey kind of tint to it. Like, I don't know if you can kind of pick that up, but it's kind of almost got like little specks of kind of purpley blue glitter, which is actually pulling really nicely with the kind of eyes. Like, it goes in quite nicely. This gloss, I feel like it's going to be my new favourite because it's super shiny and glossy and it's just got that perfect amount of very, very finely milled glitter. It looks so good. In person, I think it even looks better than it does in the viewfinder. Right, and last but not least for my full face first impressions i'm going to be trying out the Too faced hangover spray this is a three-in-one replenishing primer and setting spray so you can basically use this to prep skin to set your makeup and to revive your makeup throughout the day never tried this before and this came in a pack with the hangover primer so i'm literally just going to spray this all over my face i'm just going to just spray it out first because sometimes it sprays out for the first time like really dodgy oh God, that is a harsh, oh my God. Oh no, it's left a little water spot on my face. That is quite a harsh spray. God, that soaked me. That literally soaked my face. Okay, that soaked my face so much. It's actually made my mascara transfer, which is not ideal. Okay, it's made my mascara transfer because it was such a harsh spray and it's actually taken off some of my concealer under my eye, which is so annoying. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of concealer back there and then pat that in. I would say definitely if you're going to use that spray use it before you apply mascara so that it doesn't transfer and then you don't need to you know rub off your foundation and concealer. But yeah that is it guys so that is the finished look. I'm honestly obsessed with pretty much everything I used. I can't believe how well that video went in terms of like discovering new products like honestly the eyes I'm obsessed with i'm definitely going to be doing this eye makeup look for my next night out because i love it so much so yeah if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that would be amazing thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye